What is up everybody, Hayden and Day, welcome back to the Under Call of the Wild, and today I wanted to go over what I thought was the best base game loadout, okay, for the entire game, okay, so if you do not have any of the DLCs, that is considered base game, alright, these are the guns that just come with the normal Under Call of the Wild game, no DLCs, no weapon packs, maps, or anything that gets you special weapons, just the base game. And there are some good weapons, and then there are some not-so-great weapons that are with the base game. So I tried to put together the best ones that I could, and I managed to come up with two variations that I think will serve well. Okay, and we'll go on ahead and go over the first here, which is the 7mm to cover classes 4 to 9, the 243 mainly to cover classes 2 and 3, if you have a class 4 animal, I'd take it with the 7mm. Uh, you have the 454. You can also take classes 4 to 9, but it's good for close range. And if you're hunting buffalo or something, or um, the European bison, anything that can charge you, it's a nice gun to have. Um, and then the Cachetori shotgun with birdshot to take class 1. You can also put buckshot and slugs into it as well. Um, but you have plenty of room to add... Uh, collars, med kits, all those sorts of things to your loadout as well. Um, but these are all great weapons. Like I said, the 454 is an absolute beast. Okay, this gun is accurate out to fairly long ranges. Um, I can even put it at 150 meters. And then if I just, you know, hold high just a little bit. You know, it's going to hit right where I want to. Okay, it's a fantastic gun. Okay, then you have the 7mm, which its main drawback is that it's single shot, but it is definitely powerful. It is going to struggle on the class 8 and 9 animals. Sometimes it has a little bit of a tough time, but you can make it work. Um... To try and fit the 338 in it can be tough. That's going to be in the second variation of the loadout that I was talking about. Then you have the 243, which is good for um, anything really within 200 meters. I would not recommend using the 243 um, way out there because uh, sometimes it has had some accuracy issues. Usually it does pretty good, but it shoots a touch low at 300 yards and when you're shooting a small animal like a fox that little bit can make a big difference and then of course you have the cachetory i don't know how this is going to register oh actually that's kind of cool it even like shows the spread and everything so I me mean, just absolutely decimating at 50 yards I and mean, that that poor target down there is just taking a beating so yeah you can expect to do pretty good with the bird shot. Cash toy is great. And like I said, this loadout, it accounts for bullets and scopes, binoculars, all the stuff that you need. Let's go on ahead and go over the second variation of this loadout. All right, so the second loadout attempts to account for the weakness of the 7mm when trying to shoot the class 8 and 9 animals. And to do that, I had to take out the 454. And the 7mm, which I replaced with the 338 and the 270. Okay, the 270 is going to cover your class 4 to 6 animals, and the 338 is going to cover your class 7 to 9. Okay, so that's the goal is to have a gun that's more capable of taking down the larger animals. Okay, however, the main drawback to this loadout is of course the 270. The 270 is known as one of the weaker guns in the game. It's still pretty decent, but when it comes to something like a Red Deer, which is class six, it's going to struggle a little bit. So you're going to have to make sure that you make good shots with this gun. However, you will still have the 243 to take the class two to three animals and the cash story to do the class one. Um, you are going to have a little bit less room for collars and such because the 338 is a large gun, takes up a lot of room in the loadout, but you should be able to mitigate that and have some extra spaces. 
So, but I wanted to give two options because the base game weapons, there's really no way to make a perfect loadout. You can with the uh, DLC weapons and everything, but with the base game, it can be tougher to make that perfect loadout. So I wanted to give you all two options. Whichever one suits you best, feel free to use it. Okay, you have the 7mm, the 243, the cash tory, and the 454, the first loadout. Very good. Um, if you're going to be hunting more big game, though, I would recommend carrying the second loadout with the 270, 338, 243, and cash tory. So, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any more loadout combinations that you like to use down below, feel free to leave that in the comments. Um, I did not include any of the lever action rifles in this, even though they're fairly good, they're just limited when it comes to the range. So, with that said guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you next time.